Good morning, students. Hope you all doing good. I Dinesh Shravati, your subject faculty. Welcome you all. So the subject name is research methodology, and the topic for today would be data processing. So let's start. So these are the books from where the PPT content has been made. So first one is business research method by Cooper and Schindler. Second is business research method by Segment, Baby and Care and Beckman. And third is marketing research and applied approach by Narish K. Malhotra and David F. Burks. So this research process हमने cover करा था. So previous lectures में we have discussed about research process, different stages of research process. So one of these uh, stage of research process is data processing. So as you can see, when once you collect the data, data processing you have to do. So what does data processing include? So this data processing जो होता है ना the process, data processing involves editing, coding, classification and tabulation. So these are the four functions or four uh, processes which are involved under data processing. So editing first you have to do editing, then you have to do coding, classification and tabulation of the data collected so that they can are uh, they are amenable to analysis so they are ready for analysis or they are supported for analysis so let's start first stage is editing of data so editing of data means you know uh, this is the first step so it broadly means uh, to substitute inconsistent values in the data set so editing is the first stage in data processing editing may be broadly defined to be procedure which uses available information and assumptions to substitute inconsistent values in the data set. जो भी inconsistent values हैं, उसको substitute करता है, correct करता है. In other words, editing is the process of examining the data collected through various methods to detect errors and omissions and correct them for further analysis. So detect करना errors को, जो भी omissions हैं, उसको correct करना, substitute करना inconsistent values in the data set. It consists of screening questionnaires. जो भी आपने questionnaires collect, जो data collect करा है questionnaires के थ्रू so, उसको स्क्रीन करना, to identify illegible, incomplete, inconsistent और ambiguous responses. So that is the uh, important function of editing the data. Responses may be illegible if they have been poorly recorded. So uh, जो भी क्वेश्चनर है आपका, उसमें अगर जो रेस्पोंडेंट्स हैं, उनके रेस्पोंसेस अगर पोली रिकॉर्ड करे गए हैं, तो that uh, would you know it would be difficult to uh, analyze the data. Certain obvious inconsistencies can be easily detected. For example, a respondent may have answered a whole series of questions relating to their perception of a particular bank. Yet another question may have indicated that they have not used that particular bank. So you, whenever you try to fill the data or you to try to collect the data through questionnaire, it is very important to take care of uh, and uh, these these uh, inconsistencies and uh, it is always uh, you know it is very important to uh, to uh, tell the respondents about the objective of the questionnaire so aisa ho sakta hai ki respondents kisi cheez ko read karte but they have not experienced it so they, they have not used the services of banking and uh, still they are filling the questionnaire so that would lead to inconsistencies. So you have every researcher, whatever, I mean, whenever you are collecting the data through questionnaire, you have to take care of it. So treatment of unsatisfactory responses, uh, that is the function of editing the data. Unsatisfactory responses are commonly handled by, returning to the field to get the better data. जो क्वेश्चनर्स हैं, जो भी पोली रिकॉर्डेड क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चनर्स हैं, यू कैन गेट बैक टू दी फील्ड एंड यू कैन फाइंड न्यू रेस्पोंडेंट्स एंड देन यू कैन गेट इट फिल्ड और यू कैन गो टू दी सेम रेस्पोंडेंट्स यू कैन आस्क देम टू फिल इट अगेन प्रॉपर्ली असाइनिंग मिसिंग वैल्यूज यू कैन assign missing values if there are any missing values if there are any questions which are left you can assign missing values you can assign them values uh, as per the uh, you know any method you can use and discarding unsatisfactory responses you can completely you know discard the uh, unsatisfactory responses if there are any respondent who have not genuinely filled the uh, questionnaire you can discard that respondent so these are the ways you can uh, you know uh, handle unsatisfactory responses so editing the data is the uh, step one and uh, is mainly you detect the error and then you correct it, you substitute inconsistent values and you screen the questionnaire and then you identify uh, inconsistencies and uh, whenever a researcher you know uh, go to the field and collect data through questionnaire, uh, there are uh, chances of many inconsistencies 
uh, or poorly recorded data can be found. So you have to take care of and you have to uh, get the questionnaire filled very carefully. So second is coding, the second step. This is the step second in data processing. Coding means assigning a code, usually a number to each possible answer to each question. So once you are through with the editing process, now you assign values. So Jovi have questions, hai, just say, let's suppose a question on the gender of respondent may be assigned a code of one for females and two for males. So jab aap assign karne lag jate hai values apne questions ko, that is called coding. So for every individual question in a questionnaire, the researcher decide which code should be assigned to all its possible answers. So let's suppose if uh, you have given an option, a Likert scale, and uh, strongly agree is the option. So you assign a value, you can assign five, or you can assign one as per your uh, as per your criteria which you have decided earlier. So coding, assigning a code to represent a specific response to a specific question along with the data record and column position that the code will occupy. So this is the coding process. Uh, options you have now you put, you know, you are assigning values. So you have given different options, now you assign values. So uh, this is the coding process step. Uh, is make code book hoti hai. So code book is uh, the contains instructions and necessary information about the question and potential answers in a survey. A code book guides the coders in their work and helps the researchers identi identify and locate the questions properly. So code book, uh, before collecting the data, you make this code book and code book may you have the uh, instructions, uh, what will be the codes for a particular question. So a code book is also very important. You need to have a code book with you before you uh, collect the data through the questionnaire. So the this is the uh, this is one of the screenshot of code book. So column identifier question number one. Uh, what would be the instruction? So let's suppose treasury type. If you have given the, these options, what would be the codes for them? Industry. And then you have countries operated in if you have given uh, one, two to five. So what would be the codes? So this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is the importance of code book. So you need to have a code book before you go and collect the data through questionnaires. So third is classification data. Ab aap editing kar chuke hai, aap, uh, editing ke baad you have through with the coding. Now you will classify the data. So you have code assigned code, numbers assigned code. Now you classify the data. So classification, the process of dividing data into different groups or classes. When you divide groups mein divide karte the data, ko, it can be through any means. Frequency distribution can through kar sakte hai, uh, or uh, any basic characteristics. Ke through. So different classes mein when you divide your data, that is called data grouping. So classification of data, these groups should be homogeneous within and heterogeneous between themselves. So let's suppose gender. So male, they are all homogeneous within and but male and female are heterogeneous between themselves. Classification condenses huge amount of data and helps in understanding the importance, uh, important underlying features. So it helps you to, you know, uh, condense the huge amount of data and understand the data in a better way. It enables us to make comparison, draw inferences. You can easily uh, compare male, female or you can easily compare a working professional with a non-working professional. So this is how the classification helps you. Classification can be on the basis of external characteristics like geographical. Uh, in this class type of classification, the, the data is organized in terms of geographical area or region. Ke sab, so you can divide the data. Then you have chronological when data is arranged according to the time of occurrence. It is called chronological classification. When you divide the data uh, as per the time of occurrence, according to time of occurrence, who chronological hai, and geographical is as per the geographical area. So that is external characteristic classification according to external characteristics. Classification can also be according to internal characteristics. So classification according to internal, according to attributes. Attributes ke hisab se you can divide the data. So what you have to do in this, uh, that means so classification according to the attributes. Uh, internal characteristics ke basis pe. So attributes can be you know simple classification and manifold classification. In this classification, data are classified by descriptive characteristics like sex, cap, caste, 
occupation, place of residence. So these are the variables which you can use for classification. And this is this comes under internal characteristics. So first, you have external characteristics ke basis pe kara, and next is internal characteristics. So internal characteristics may you can uh, do uh, through simple classification and it can be through manifold classification. So in simple classification, uh, also called classification according to dichotomy, data is simply grouped according to presence or absence of a single characteristics. Or it can be just a male, female, employee, unemployed, rural, urban. A single characteristic ke basis pe you divide the data, classify the data. That is called simple classification. But manifold classification is manifold matlab, at least two. So you divide the data, for example, first you divide the data on the basis of attribute like employee or unemployed. Then using the remaining attribute, data is subgrouped. Then you subgroup karte hai, male and female. Employee may kitne male and female hai, unemployed may kitne male and female hai. So this is an example of manifold classification. Data is classified according to more than one characteristics. And if you are talking about single characteristics, then it is called simple classification. And it comes under classification according to internal characteristics. And this is how we discussed classification according to external characteristics. And third is classification according to magnitude of the variable. So magnitude of the variable, this classification refers to classification of data according to some characteristics that can be measured. So in this classification, there are two aspects. One is variable, they say age, weight, income. So these are the variable which you can measure. And another is frequency. Count, number of observation which can be put into class. So frequency distribution, se aata hai. we can make a frequency distribution. Uh, frequency distribution help karta hai classification, data classification. Mein. And uh, other aspect is, uh, one is variable, they say age, weight, ke basis pe bhi, you can classify the data. And this all comes under according to magnitude of the variable. And the last step in data processing is tabulation. Now you are through with editing. Aapne inconsistencies ko remove kar diya, coding kar di. Then aapne, uh, you, you are through with the classification. Aapne data ko classify kar diya. And now uh, with the help of classification, you can make tables. So now you can easily make tables. So tables uh, can be simple table and it can be complex table. So simple table, uh, the data are presented only one variable or characteristics that is called simple table. And if there are more than two variable or characteristics, a complex table may contain data pertaining to more than one characteristic. Just say population is also divided, census here. Uh, further example, if you see, uh, aapne, just say, jo treasury function to be more automated, usme do option diye, yes or no. And intent to change the number of banks you use, usme bhi option diye, you no know, increase and decrease. And uh, dono ka combination jo hai, number frequency, wo aapne table mein So this can be, uh, you know, uh, one of the uh, example of complex table. So isme bhi aap, you can use, you can analyze the data with the help of chi-square, jaysa isme chi-square calculate kar hai. So this can be also a table, aap aise bhi table bina sakte hai. This is complex table and the table can be like this also simple frequency you have uh, counted the number of uh, responses who have given most important criteria so the example is rating of good electronic banking system and different options you have given or scale frequency kitne logo ne us, us answer ko check kar hai. and the total is this so you can make this table also percentage valid percentage cumulative percentage so frequency distribution table you can make so these were the four steps of uh, data processing. First one, first one, the first step was your editing the data. So this was the first step where you remove the inconsistencies. Second was coding where you give uh, assign numbers, assign the numbers to your uh, questions. And you need to have a code book with you before you collect the data through questionnaire. Uh, and then it was classification to classify the data. It can be on the basis of uh, external characteristics, internal characteristics, or magnitude of the variable. And third, last, third one, tabulation, uh, sorry, last one, and tabulation is all about making the table. So it can be simple table, it can be complex table. Generally, we make complex tables and we can do the analysis with, help, with the help of any statistical technique. So that is all for today. Next, uh, we will discuss uh, tabulation and classification and uh, what uh, you know what why uh, why we use graphs so that is uh, that is all for today thank you thank you so much